Welcome to Paltons Park and what will be the home of Tornado Springs, which will be opening at the park in 2021. This is our first opportunity we've had to come down and look at it. It was the last full day of the 2020 season. So we'll start first with Al's Auto Academy, which you can see here. And of course, the area does look near enough complete. With most of the rides set up to open this year, of course, this driving school ride really does differ from other ones we have in the UK. And with the rich depth and theming, which you'd expect from recent Portland's Parks projects. Nice viewing platform, wonderful scenery. This is going to be a cracking ride for the park. We'll be right back with the rock and roll after this commercial break. Howdy, Jesse here from Jesse's Diner for the tastiest treats in town. Come and try our legendary handmade ranch burgers. Delicious and all locally sourced from Farmer Flo's Farm. Also, have y'all heard about our crazy cyclone shakes? They're sure to put you in a spin, yes siree. We're open every day, so come on down. Jesse's Diner, the best food in the county and service with a smile. Just off Route 83. You have seen some of the scenes there as well from around the back end of the track. Obviously, these close-ups which we're giving you here show the depth of the theming. And of course, there are some finishing touches still to be added to the rides and indeed Tornado Springs. From the side here as well, you can see the shed and you can still see that work is ongoing in the shed. Um, working ladders, of course, where the cars will live. And this looks like the queue line with the main building on the outside. When queuing for it, you're gonna be greeted with this car, which you can just about make out on the inside of the window here. So we are expecting an indoor themed queue before you hit the outside part. And of course, as we pan down here, you'll see wonderful theming, but a little bit of work still left to do. Howdy folks, Angus here. If you've got any scrap metal, spare parts, or unwanted vehicles, then give me a call at Junkyard Junction. And as for Angus, I love talking trash. If y'all need spares and repairs after the tornado, stop by Junkyard Junction near the level crossing, and let's see what we can rustle up. Remember, if you don't want it, then we do. And if you ain't got it, then we probably do. Junkyard Junction, open six days a week, alongside the railroad. I'll see you soon. What you see here is the main entrance to Tornado Springs, obviously greeted by Storm Chaser, the Mac spinning coaster, which will open at the park next year. The main sign for Tornado Springs may not be up quite yet, but the direction in which the rides are located is all present. This is your first look you're likely to get at Storm Chaser, the spinning coaster, as it really imposes over the entrance and indeed your view as you enter the area. You can see on the pavement that work is still to be done. That doesn't just include smoothing over the pavement, but also there are some graphics which the park will put down to show that you are entering Route 83. Wind the windows down and turn up the sounds. Z106. Hey there, would you like a vacation with a difference? Sure you would. So come and see us here at Tornado Springs in the Midwest. We got lots of hidden treasures for you to discover. From the meandering meadows of the crooked countryside to a breathtaking ride down Buffalo Falls. And when you're plum tuckered out from all that fun, refresh yourself with some tasty treats at Jesse's Diner. For a real adventure, come and visit the world-famous Tornado Springs. We look forward to seeing y'all. Follow the signs for Route 83. Some more close-ups there of Storm Chaser, but to enter this ride, you will need to head around the other side of the area next to Buffalo Falls. From here, you can see the Storm Chaser entrance, a beautiful looking entrance right next to the station. Of course, the queue will veer off to the right underneath the tractor coming out of the side of Buffalo Falls with the main queue for the attraction being underneath the ride itself. Before you head up into the Storm Chaser station, we believe this ride is running two trains, although we haven't seen the second train on our visit. We have seen some previous testing videos, which indicates that it does indeed have two trains. There was one on the station, which you'll be able to see shortly from the aerial shots we took. Do apologize for the rain today. Typical, you go to Tornado Springs, and it feels like a tornado is indeed on the way. 
Storm Chaser though, looking absolutely amazing in the rain as it will do in the sunshine when the blue skies come out next year. But let's take a look at some aerial shots of the attraction. For all you folks down here on vacation, welcome to the Springs. Here's a word from our sponsors. We grow it, pick it fresh, and deliver it straight to your door. There's nothing better than fresh fruit and veg from Farmer Flo's Farm. At Farmer Flo's, they're passionate about food and farming. Fresh corn, carrots, tomatoes, apples, whatever you want. And remember, it's all delivered straight to your door, even on the weekend. Eat healthy, stay happy. Farmer Flo's Farm, for all your fresh veg. Good morning. What a beautiful day here in the springs all right turn this one up from above you can see the scale of the storm chaser the spinning coaster may not be massive in comparison to some of the marrow ones we have in the uk but of course this is a uk first mac spinning coaster and it's got some size to it and it's gonna have some pace to it as well it already has a really nice finish with some close elements to the track as you will be going around as you look over here again, you can see into the station and see one of the Storm Chaser trains. Now then over to Buffalo Falls. Buffalo Falls is of course open for the 2020 season. It has received its re-theme as you can see here, including queue time boards as well, which look like all the rides will receive. It's one of this beautiful, beautiful backdrop as you pan across here, which has been added. So this ride up and running, ready to go. Let's take a pan round now at some of the other attractions which are going to make up Tornado Springs. Here you will see the Treat Shack, of course from the top of Buffalo Falls, you may have seen in the background the diner. The diner does look very, very big indeed, looks like it's going to house quite a lot of people and be a real prominent restaurant for the park. But over the back here is the key thrill ride and will be probably the biggest thrill ride the park have ever seen in the Cyclinator, this massive gyro swing does look like it will overtake Edge as the park's premier thrill ride and really does offer something else for the older members of the family. Of course along with this we have a couple of junior drop towers with the park removing their jumping jacks a few years ago. Although Magma does exist at the park, these bring back a much loved younger audience drop tower which will be really really popular in Tornado Springs, hence why the park have put two of them in. A view over the back there as you can see the two rides, the treats, around the right will take you to the restaurant and indeed back to the main entrance which we showed you earlier. But over to the left there is one more attraction to see. Welcome back to all the hits, Z106. We're going to cross live now to our world famous storm chaser, Cooper Storms. Coop, are you there? Thanks, Jeff. Well, it looks like Storm Mac has now passed us by. And boy, what a storm that was. I'm looking at some serious damage here in the springs. Uh, the good news is that everybody is now embarking on a huge cleanup. When the going gets tough, Tornado Springs gets going. Back to you in the studio, Jeff. Thanks, Coop. Ain't that the truth, though? We're all built of strong stuff here in the Springs. Now, some more great hits on the Springs' favorite Z106. Some of the wonderful theme in there which the park have added. And as you can see, some of this does still need completing. It's not finished yet. But the ride you can see over to the left now is, of course, the Trek In Tractors. The park's old tractor ride, which has remained closed in 2020, will make up Tornado Springs in 2021. The tractor ride is indeed undergoing quite a re-theme, to be honest with you. Doesn't look like you're going to be getting many of the plants and crops, but instead we will be getting a few new animatronics, which you'll see working very shortly. The building has been completely overhauled as to the scenery around the back. Whilst we head round the back, although not part of Tornado Springs as such, the train of course will also reopen in 2021 and will provide some new views of the Tornado Springs area. But Trekking Tractors here did look like it potentially was ready to open, but of course the scenery and the theming is yet to be complete. More has been added, but there is visible work that more is to be done to this area and we would expect a few trees potentially to go in to really segregate this ride as a farming experience. Of course we wouldn't rule out the return of the crops, I think it's a key part of the ride and indeed a key part of the Tornado Springs story. Now as you can see here, some of the animatronics are currently working. 
with the cactus here, live and working. We will also pan round to the right where it looks like beavers are indeed beavering away at some of the wood. So it looks like that most of the effects indeed have been added and it's just static scenery and indeed some landscaping which is to be done. Here we go. This is Tornado Springs. Will you be making a visit to Portland Park in 2021? What we'd like to know is if you've never visited the park before. It's always been aimed at a younger audience but is now really moving in to the proper family market and we'd expect some first time visitors to be entering. This area looks stunning as does the rest of the park. Will you be making a visit? Thanks for joining us.